My identity was stolen to advertise a fake scam video game. There are AI manipulated ads using my face advertising a fake video game on multiple platforms like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and others. I thought looking into this, I would find out one thing. I would find out the company that was doing it and I would ask them to stop using my likeness for their ads or my face talking about their game, I guess. But instead, it gets a whole lot weirder. I can assure you, if you think you know where this is going, no, you don't. This all started because a lot of you started reaching out to me saying things like, hey, Jake, I noticed you're in this ad for this weird game. What is this? And I thought, okay, maybe this is some ad that I did and forgot about it. Maybe there was a mobile game that came to my channel a while back. And then people started sending me screenshots of this ad and it was for sure something I had never heard of and never agreed to. So I had to try to find this ad. So finding this ad was really tricky. And the way I was able to do it was I looked for the game first. The game existed, Rise of Trainers Idol. I say existed because this game has now been removed from the App Store and the Google Play Store. But at one point, Rise of Trainers Idol was a weird Pokemon knockoff idol game that existed on the App Store. I searched for that in Facebook and it did not come up, but something called Idol Warrior Quest did. So like I said, I found the ad, and the ad is even better than you would expect. Let's enjoy it together. Pokemon just came out with their mobile game, and if you're seeing this video, it's not too late. They're giving away 10,000 free summons and an SSR selection. Okay, so obviously, as you can see from this ad, I'm in it. That is not my voice. I don't talk like this and talk about Pokemon's new mobile game. Also, this is a weird, bizarre game giving you 10,000 free SSR summons or something like that. There are so many things about this that scream scam, and unfortunately, they have tied me to the top of it, looking like some guy who, hey, this guy's harmless. He's got a big goofy mustache and he talks about Pokemon. This must be real, right? Let's continue. If you download right now off this video, this is Trainer Tycoon Legends. You'll notice right there, it says if you download off this video, this is Trainer Tycoon Legends, which is odd because that is not the name of the game they are advertising when you click on the ad, but somehow they left inside here the wrong game name. This will keep coming up because this is not the only weird scam game doing this. Free to play RPG card game set in the Pokemon world. Catch Pokemon across all regions while building the ultimate team. The graphics are sick, the game plays even better. You're not gonna wanna miss this one tap below to download Rise of Elf for free right now. And now you can see, I just stopped talking about it. I do hit like a little download for free right now. And then I say that they need to get this game. You know, Rise of Trainers Idol. Oh, I'm sorry. The game that we are seeing on the screen right now is actually Pokey Chronicles, or is it Trainer Tycoon Legends? Or if you were very observant, you will notice that they actually say another game name in this ad, in this one fake ad. They have like 25 different games advertised. It is so weird. Let's go back and we'll see if you caught it. You're not gonna wanna miss this one tap below to download Rise of Elf for free right now. Apparently you need to download Rise of Elf for free right now. And this is where I started to dig into this and things got crazier and crazier and crazier. One thing a lot of people asked me was, hey, what are you going to do about this? They're using your likeness in this ad. Aren't you going to sue them? And the question I would throw back to you is, sue who? Because I tried to figure out who was creating this and that's where things got wild. You see, because before I even found this ad, I found the game on the App Store. At one point, this game was on the App Store and with the game being on the App Store, there was contact information for the company who made it. I put company in quotes because is one scammer in China a company? I don't know. Apparently, according to Google and Apple, it is a legitimate company that can sell you a video game. You see, for any of these games to exist on the Google Play Store or the App Store, they have to have some sort of support contact. And this game did have a support contact. Their support contact was chenbaikian01 at gmail.com. Sounds like a real company to me. So I contacted them and I said, very kindly, hey, whoever runs this weird company, you're using an AI version of me in your ads. Stop doing it or send me $500,000. Thanks, Jake, the guy in your game ad. So 
My thought process was twofold. First off, I just wanted to see if anyone would respond to me. And second, I kind of wanted to see if I would get that 500K because if I did get that 500K, this video would be about Trainer Idol Legends because right now you can get 10,000 free summons for Trainer Idol Legends. And yes, I recognize that every time I'm saying this into the camera, it could be used for a weird fake ad from a scam company because the world is a little bit of a nightmare. So now I was in this really weird place where I had no one to contact, nothing I could really do about it, and the game eventually was taken down from the App Store, but that didn't stop the company from continuing to run this ad with different game titles inside it. I honestly am so shocked that something like this happened because I recognize that some ads out there are weird deep fakes and you see Joe Rogan talking about like, I'm chewing this thing and it makes my jaw big. Like, I know that there's some of that out there and you think okay something like that would happen to maybe Joe Rogan he is the biggest podcaster in the world but you wouldn't think it would happen to cowboy guy youtuber who's talking about Pokemon but apparently it could happen to anyone as I kept digging I kept finding new fake games that they would make a page for and then eventually it would go down because maybe someone at Pokemon caught it maybe they got enough complaints to the app store but they would just make fake page after fake page after fake page with two or three followers on Facebook, and then they would run ads for their games. I found more games than this, but the games I found were Rise of Trainers Idol, Idol Warrior Quest, Legend of Trainer, Trainer Tycoon Legends, not to be confused with Legend of Trainer, Pocket Pixel, Pocket Incoming, Three Kingdoms Idol Chronicle, Master Ball Version 3, Rise of Trainers, not Idol. This is when you're really getting into Rise of Trainers. And then I found ones that were kind of hidden behind this elf thing, I guess that's a thing, like Spectral Elf Defense. And of course, Elf Prophecy Evolution. Oh, and I can't forget Ultra Elf Combat Revolution. And Idol Sprite origins. That's not all of them. That's just the list I have. And the list goes on and on. And unfortunately, these games pop up on Google Play and the iOS store constantly, and nothing is done to moderate it. There is no one at Google or Apple who is doing anything to stop this clearly fraudulent game company from putting up multiple games. They create a new fake game company and put up a new fake game constantly. And they aren't doing anything about it because Let's be honest, every time someone spends in one of these fake games, Google and Apple are making money. They make money off every single transaction. So not only is it unfortunate that we have these fake ads that are run on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, they are making money off of these companies. We have Google and Apple making money off of these fake companies too. And the only people who are getting scammed are me for an ad and anyone who downloads this game and plays it. Because if you download this game, all of your information is sent to some weird shady organization to do whatever they want with it. And anytime you purchase, Google does make money or Apple does make money. So the incentive for them to actually police their app store is extremely low. Once it's finally caught, oh, okay, they'll remove the game, but there are hundreds of these games up with thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of downloads for games that are clearly stealing the IP of popular properties, not only Pokemon, there are many other properties that are being stolen with fake ads using real people like myself. Hi, how you doing? Scamming real people like you who may actually download one of these games. Let me show you a few examples of these games. Let's just take a look at one of these games. This is Training Tactics Ace. I singled you out, Training Tactics Ace. Don't use me in your weird ads. This is made by Chen Chao 91 And as you click on Chen Chao 91 you can see that they no longer exist because this game has been removed from the App Store. This game is no longer available, but at least 10,000 people have downloaded this. Possibly almost 100,000 people have downloaded this fake game. This game is clearly fake, featuring all this intellectual property from Pokemon. Take a look at all these popular Pokemon. Hey, there's a shiny scissor. Like, okay. There's a lot of amazing stuff that they are using that they do not own, like my face, to market their game. 
But don't worry, according to Google, no data is collected from this game and the data is encrypted in transit. You can also request that your data be deleted. Isn't that wonderful? Of course, data that they do share is your device or other IDs, analytics, advertising, marketing, stuff like that. They share that kind of stuff. Now, don't worry, if you need support, it's just a click away. All you need to email is chenchow91822 at gmail.com and they'll definitely help you out. You know, Chen Xiao 91822, the person who made Training Tactics Ace. Just email them. Do it! Just do it! And again, there are countless numbers of these games up on all of these app stores. This is Elf Prophecy Evolution from Vita Bella Trading Limited. Because when I think quality, I think Vita Bella Trading Limited. Yes, I am aware that all of this could be used in a video and I have no way to stop that. And as I scroll down to look at the reviews, you can tell that all of the reviews are weird AI generated fake reviews. Played many others. This seems a little different. Huh. Wanted to play something different and this game is surprisingly good. I see myself playing for a long time. Wow. Played lots of others. This one seemed different. The marketing behind this game, Elf Prophecy Evolution, this one's different. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry though, this isn't that shady Google Play Store. If you need app support, you click on app support and it will take you to whatever this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Elf is clearly a way that they're hiding things that are Pokemon because this is Spectral Elf Defense, with it, which is a pet collection role-playing game from Guangzhou GIC Information Technology. I apologize if I said that wrong. I apologize to all the hard workers at Guangzhou GIC Information Technology. I understand you have a very difficult job of ripping off popular IPs. <laughs> all of the reviews in this are talking about transferring your account to what? I have no idea, and I'm so sorry for everyone who got involved with whatever this is. I also am apparently involved. You'll also notice that when you look at these companies, the only games they have ever made is this one game, until this game gets reported as fraud, and then this company just goes away. Also, when you look at the privacy policy for Spectral Elf Defense, at one point called Trainer Fortress, apparently that was another game, you'll see weird things that are just kind of left out. As you kind of scroll down, you just see like, little sentences that they clearly started writing and they were like, it doesn't even matter if we keep writing this. For Spectral Elf Defense, the privacy policy is also the same as Trainer Fortress. We all remember Trainer Fortress, I guess. Oh wait, I remember Trainer Fortress from Guangzhou Mengshan Technology Co. Limited. Yes, the game with 2.2 thousand ratings because it has Mewtwo on it. I love how fake all these reviews are, by the way. It's not that bad. <laughs> It's the title here. It's honestly lots of fun. And this next one is pretty solid. It's honestly lots of fun. Hey, it looks like the same thing is here. I'd love to see more, but we're going to get Chimchar soon. Oh, God. And all of these privacy policies say a bunch of nonsense that I'm sure you could have just typed into chat GPT and said, write me a privacy policy for a video game. Now I could go on and on showing you fake games with fake reviews and possibly fake download numbers, fake emails. There's also a ring of fake YouTube channels that covers these games. There's so much that I could show you. And a lot of it really sucks. It honestly really sucks that a fraudulent group of people can take take my identity, slap it onto their nonsense scam and make it as if I am helping to promote this awful thing. I kind of hate it. Not even kind of. I fully hate it. But what can you, the consumer, do? What can I, the ad man, do? The answer, unfortunately, is very little. Obviously, there's no one to contact at these fake games, and the ads are going to continue to run as long as Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram make money off of these ads. They have no incentive to look into it because they are getting paid, and they aren't looking into it on purpose. These ads are clearly fake, and if anyone looked at them, they would know that. For the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store, these fraudulent games will continue to go up because Google and Apple make money off these and they are playing a little bit of a game themselves when they act like they're just now noticing that a game using full Pokemon IP is fraudulent. Obviously, these are fraudulent games and it is far too easy to put a fake game up on these stores, 
but they don't care because they're making money. For me, the only real recourse is to make a video like this so that all of you know about this and maybe Google and Apple will one day see this and decide to change their ways. I'm guessing that there could be a massive class action lawsuit against all of these companies, but hey, what do I know? I'm not a lawyer, I'm just a content cowboy. For you, the consumer, the best thing you can do is when you see a fake ad like this or a fake game like this, report the ad so at least it gets taken down and report the game so hopefully someone else doesn't get scammed. I wish there was more that I could give you, but truthfully, this is the reality we now live in. This problem is only going to get worse if these companies don't do anything about it. I think at the end of this, the thing I'm most disappointed in are these large companies that would have the ability to stop something like this, but decide not to. Instead, they're gonna keep Spectral Elf Defense up because Spectral Elf Defense is making the money. Even though it's stealing from Pokemon, it's stealing from people like you, and it's using my dumb face to talk about it and say things like, check out the new mobile game. You're gonna love it. And I know, I know that all this this can be used in an ad, and sadly, there's nothing I can do about it. I wish there was a happier ending. I guess the happy ending are the friends we made along the way. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. As always, I appreciate you, I love you. Share this video around, it would help me out a lot, and I'll see y'all next time. Mm -hmm. Did I yeehaw? Yeehaw.